Alright, everyone ready? I don't care. Directing. One of the most sought after roles in the film industry. Those with a creative eye and a passion for storytelling are drawn to this role. But it takes more than creativity to be a good director. If you want to be a good director, you need to be well versed in the art of effective communication. Effective communication means knowing how to talk to your crew. This here's Rudy, our director. Right now, he's addressing everyone before the day begins. Let's see how it goes. All right, people, I have a job I need to do. You have a job you need to do. So let me do mine and you can do yours, all right? Whoa there, that wasn't effective communication at all. Let's see what should have happened there. All right, thank you very much for you guys for coming today. I'm very excited to work with all and see all you guys' skills. Let's get to work and have a good day, all right? Now that's effective communication. Notice how Rudy was respectful and encouraging of his crew. That will set the tone for a positive day on set. An important aspect to effective communication is being able to express your ideas clearly. As the director, you'll need to be able to express your vision to the director of photography. Let's see how Rudy tackles this challenge. Alrighty, so I want like a medium wide shot with like extra depth but close up too and I want a lot of light but a lot of contrast and um, it, when I, I want it to tilt at the pan at the same time like uh, Jerry Maguire but faster. Dude, I shoot action movies. That didn't look like effective communication for me. Let's see if we can do better than that. So this is a very dramatic scene. So I want a medium close up with a very shallow depth of field. I want a harsh light on the right side and a reverse key light on the back for the hair. And about 3200K in tone. Oh, so like I did on Jerry Maguire. Just a little more intense. Yeah, exactly. Zooey mama, what effective communication. You can see that Rudy knew exactly what he wanted and was able to use more technical terms to describe his visuals and tone. You can also tell that in this scenario, Rudy took the time to hire a DOP that had the skill set to get what he wanted. And now that you've shared your vision clearly with the DOP, they can go to their collaborative head of departments and make effective use of the set hierarchy. Way to go, kiddo! And let's not forget learning how to communicate with those oh-so-temperamental actors. Knowing how to give clear and followable direction is essential to effective communication with actors. Let's see how Rudy handles this one. I love you. You complete me. Ah, shut up. You had me at hello. Cut! Alright, alright. I need more mm, with this, okay? I want more... Oh, but it needs more impact, okay? Okay, sure. Now, Steve, and action! I love you. Oh no! Looks like you didn't effectively communicate what you needed from your actors, Rudy. Let's give it another try. I love you. You complete me. Ah, uh, shut up. You had me at hello. Hut! Okay, thank you guys, but that was. It was really good, but there's still a little bit stuff. Emily, this is the most emotional thing that you will ever feel. I need tears, I need a little more quiver. Bring the emotion, like something has finally happened that you wanted. Paul, you finally made something that's been deep in your heart. Say, say it with a little bit more gusto, and that's about as much as I can say for that. Thank you. All right. Okay, sure. All right, cameras, please, action. I love you. <laughs> you gave it your best. You gave clear, effective direction. But actors don't listen, and even the best of directors still don't know how to deal with this. Good effort, though. So there you have it. All you need to know about the art of effective communication. Now go out there and be the best director you can be. Who was that? Stumbling around in the dark. State your business or prepare to get winged. Cut! Zooey Mama! 